Hello, hello. This is Andrea with Sunshine and Pixels. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use the the Flag Builder, um, which is a digital elements bundle that I sell on my website, um, which is sunshineandpixels.com. But before I jump in, um, just you know, I, I usually do a lot of different tutorials, sublimation tutorials, some digital tutorials like this one. Um, if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, um, and hit that notification bell so that you can see more content like this. I am trying to push out, um, you know, at least two tutorials a month if I can, but um, life happens, so I, I will do as many as I can, but make sure to hit that notification button. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so this is my flag builder that I have. These are all the digital elements that come with it, um, and they're individual PNGs. And so this is how you may, you can use the, um, the builder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new custom document. So I usually do my documents 2000 by 2000 pixels. I'm going to show you in Photoshop and then I'm going to jump over to Cricut Design Space and show you in there as well. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Um, I also have a Facebook group, Sunshine and Pixels, um, where we do live tutorials like this as well, where you can interact with me one-on-one -on -one and ask any questions that you have. Okay, so let's jump into it. So what I did is, um, let me show you some of the files that come with it, right? So when you get your digital element bundle, you will have all of your stripes and the Canton section of the, um, of the flag, and then you will have your white sparkle stars. Um, within the stripes, you have all of these in there, and then you also have your uh, Canton options as well. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've uploaded, or I've already loaded all of those in, um, and I'm just going to grab a couple of stripes and just build a flag with you, okay? Um, so first things first, when you're working with, with Photoshop, what you need to know is that you work in layers. Um, so your first layer is always going to be your background layer, and usually when you open up a new document, it's locked. I usually keep it locked so that when I highlight my other items that I load into here, my background doesn't start moving. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab a stripe. Um, let's do a red glitter stripe, and I'm going to just copy and paste that. You can also drag it over if you want it to. Um, you see it comes in as a PNG, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my red, white, and blue tie-dye stripe. I like that. Um, I'm going to lower my opacity of this a little bit so we can see. Actually, I'm just going to I'm just going to hide it. Okay, so I've got my other stripes. So we're gonna we're gonna work with these two for right now. Okay, so in Photoshop. Um, if you highlight it all, you um, just you can resize it by just dragging it in or dragging it out. You can also do it by the corners. Um, Photoshop will tell you when something is aligned. So if you want them to be even, it's going to align it with the very furthest point, which happens to be out here. Um, with a flag, I want my flag to kind of be at an angle a little bit. Um, so I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Um, and then I'm going to just duplicate this layer and drag it down below. Um, and now I've got my, my three stripes here. So now we need some of the white stripes in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my, let's see. I will grab my, I'll grab the leopard. Why not? We'll grab the leopard. Um, so there's leopard stripes and then there's also the, um, like the in-between stripes that I have in there. So let's see, we've got our leopard stripe, top stripe. Let's grab that one. And we're gonna move that back over to our layer. And I'm just going to resize it, right? Okay, and so you see how it's kind of overlapping my red and my tie-dye? Um, so this is what I was mentioning before where you, you, can re, uh, you can rearrange the layer order. So anything that is on top so is going to be what shows on top of all your images. So you literally think about it as layering these graphics, right? Um, so if we want this to be down below, we just need to drag it down and see how it puts it behind it. And then we're just going to duplicate that layer again. And oops, I clicked a button. 
and we're just going to drag it down here and now we've got our second uh, stripe in here. So we've got some red, some red, white, and blues, and then we've got um, our leopard as well. <clears throat> um, okay, so now we want the Canton. So I'm going to grab the blue sparkle one. And there's two different ways that you can do this, right? So um, you can literally just place it right on top. It's going to cover it, and that's fine. That works just fine. Um, or if you want, you can uh, click on the item that you want to resize. And instead of resizing the entire image like we did here, if you want to just resize, like, say, the, the length of it, and you just want to make it a little bit shorter, you can hit the Control button. Uh, hold to the control button and drag it in. So it's going to tell you whether or not how far you off from you are off from being, um, you know, where you were if you're if you're slanting it at all. So try and get it back to that that zero if you can. Um, and I want to probably put it about right there, and then I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it back. Um, so you can you can move it around like that if you want it to, um, or like I said, you could just really just cover it up with um, you know with the blue sparkle. Okay, so now we've got our our blue section of the flag, um, and now we want to add in our stars, right? So um, the stars are just it's one single white sparkle stars, um, and then you just pop that right on top, and then you can resize it. And just resize it how you want it. Um, you can twist it, turn it, however you like. And there you go. You've got your American flag. Um, probably make this one just a little bit shorter. There are so many possibilities with this, right? With all of the different um, stripes that you have, you've got this the white glitter stripes, you've got the leopard stripes that go in the middle, and then you've got all of these different um, stripes as well. You've got the tie-dye, the srape, the, the leopard print. Um, there are just so many options that you have with this. It's really a great bundle. Um, I, you know, if you guys use Photoshop or Cricut or whatever it is that you use, it's super easy to use. They are high quality PNGs. Just mix and match them as you like and, and go ahead and print. Um, so now I'm going to pop over to Cricut Design Space and show you guys how to do that. Um, so I already have my Cricut Design Space project open. So you would just go to Cricut Design Space, log into your account, and hit Create New Project, right? So I'm in my new project space right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to upload a new image. So you would browse your products, and then you would go and you would upload each individual file that you wanted to use for your flag. Um, I have already uploaded all of those images in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just click these and I'm going to hold the shift button and I'm gonna click the other, um, the other images so that it selects all of them and then I'm gonna hit insert images. So it's gonna put all of my images into my file. Um, they're gonna be very large because they are large, they are large high quality images. Um, so you'll just highlight them all and then just kind of resize it so that it's the size that, you know, that you're wanting to work with. Um, so for this one, I think we're gonna do some red and we'll do white sparkles, I think, on this one. Because we did, yeah, we did leopard sparkles. Or we did leopard in the middle. So, yeah, let's do white. And then we'll do a leopard in the middle. Um, we'll do another white gold glitter sparkle. And then we'll do one more, I think, red stripe down at the bottom just to make it somewhat symmetrical. Okay, so you've got that. Um, and then again, we need to reorder our layers, right? Because we maybe you don't want the white to kind of uh, go over the red on that layer. If you do, that's fine. But one way to reorder your layers is doing the same thing. You just drag them in Cricut Design Space. So if I wanted these sparkles here to be back behind and not overlap my red sparkles right here, I would literally just drag it down. Um, oh, that's the bottom one. So, okay, we'll just drag that up then. And it puts the white glitter behind the red glitter. Does that make sense? And then um, if I wanted to do the same thing with this leopard print, I would just drag it up right above there and it puts the white glitter behind it as well. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is for this one, I'm going to use my red, white, and blue tie dye. And I'm just going to place it right there. You can turn it however you want. It's not a perfect square, so I mean, it's going to look great however you put it. It doesn't matter. Um, I kind of like it about, uh, I think I like it about right there. Yeah. And then, actually, I'm going to turn it All right. I like it there. I like it there. Okay. And then you've got your uh, white glitter sparkles for the states. And you can just size it accordingly. Again, you can change the shape of it as well, wherever you want it. And there you go. You've got your flag. Um, you can highlight the whole thing because I think it probably needs to be tilted a little bit. It just looks a little funny there. I feel like it needs to be tilted down a little bit. Oh my gosh, there we go. So here's another option that you can do with the flag bundle. It um, There are so, so many possibilities. Um, I would love to see what you guys end up making with it. I will link it below so that you can... Um, you can purchase it from my shop. If you have any questions on how to use it or anything like that, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Again, you can find me on Facebook, Sunshine and Pixels. I have um, a VIP group where we do lots of tutorials like this. It's one-on-one, -on -one, um, very interactive, and I am definitely there to answer any questions you guys have. Um, thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye.